Hey guys, welcome back to More Than Hair. I'm Clavia Moore, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the three best flat irons that you can use at home. I've been a hairstylist for about 10 years now, and I have been through so many different flat irons. The three flat irons I'm gonna recommend for you guys today, I've tested them, I've used them on myself, on clients, and these, in my opinion, are the best three flat irons that you guys can use, whether you have fine hair to coarse, thick hair. So before we get into the video, I'm gonna tell you guys about the different types of flat irons that are out there. The first one is ceramic. Ceramic flat irons are slow to heat up, but they do keep an even heat distribution, which minimizes damage caused by heat. Now these flat irons, I would recommend to anyone with fine to medium hair textures. The second would be titanium. Titanium flat irons heat up super quick and are great at keeping a steady temperature as you straighten your hair. For titanium flat irons, I would recommend use on medium to coarse hair textures. Next, we have tourmaline. Tourmaline is a coating that's used over ceramic plates to avoid chipping over time. It contains negative ions that lock in moisture to your hair and also help to tame frizz. It's safe to use on fine to coarse textured hair. Last, we have magnesium. Magnesium is used in combination with ceramic and tourmaline plate. Magnesium helps helps to maintain a stable temperature and has great heat conductivity for less damage and superior results. Magnesium flat irons can be used on fine to coarse textured hair. Now that you guys know about the different types of flat irons that are out there, let's get into the three best flat irons for use at home. I'm gonna start with number three. My number three pick flat iron is the Babyliss Pro Ultra Thin Titanium Flat Iron. This flat iron has a four and three quarter inch long plates. Normally average flat irons have a four inch plate, so having an extra wide plate, people like this one because they can take wider sections and get through their hair faster, especially if they have longer hair. This flat iron comes in two sizes. It comes in a one inch and it comes in a one and a half inch. It comes with heat controls up to 450 Fahrenheit and it also has an auto shut off of 45 minutes. I've used this flat iron on many different hair textures. In my opinion, it works best with fine to medium hair textures because it just doesn't give me that silky smoothness that I like for coarser hair textures. The number two flat iron that I would recommend is the FHI Heat Platform Flat Iron. I love this flat iron because it comes in different sizes. It heats up really well and it gives a nice, smooth, shiny finish to your presses. The features of this flat iron. We all know that we have burned our hands many times using a flat iron. It has a cool touch tip so you will not burn your fingers. It has temperature controls up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It has an auto shut off after one hour. The plates are slightly curved so if you want to do curls or waves with it and gives you a smoother finish when you're curling or waving your hair. Because it has temperature controls this flat iron is great for fine to coarse textured hair. The number one flat iron that I would recommend for you guys to use at home is the Ion Magnesium Straightening Iron. It glides through your hair so smoothly. It works so well that I even have clients asking where they can purchase it. It comes in two different sizes, a one inch and a one and a quarter inch. It has a digital display. It has multiple heat settings up to 450 Fahrenheit and it has an auto shut off after five minutes. So now that I've given you guys three flat irons to choose from. I'm going to give you guys five quick tips that you guys can use when you're flat ironing your hair at home yourself. Tip number one, blow dry your hair as straight as you can. This will reduce the number of passes you will need on each section when you're flat ironing your hair. Tip number two, apply a heat protectant to your hair before you straighten it. Tip number three, section your hair in small manageable sections for straightening. Tip number four, start at a heat setting of 250 degrees Fahrenheit and test a small area of hair to see if the temperature is hot enough. Slowly raise the temperature on your flat iron until you get to the desired temperature. Always test a small area of hair before moving on to a higher temperature. Tip number five, use as few passes of the flat iron as possible while straightening your hair. This will reduce your chances of causing heat damage to your hair at home. And finally, when you're in doubt, always reach out to your hairstylist for advice when using any kind of heat tools on your hair. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have left links in the description down below for all the flat irons that I recommended today. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment on the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Thank you!